Hello, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can fit a wireless card into your computer. Now you might be wondering what a wireless card is, well essentially another word for it is like a Wi-Fi card. So you can turn your desktop computer into something that has got Wi-Fi on it and you can connect to the Wi-Fi in your house. Now some computers do come with Wi-Fi built in and that's fine, but the thing is as Wi-Fi gets better and there's different Wi-Fi standards which are faster, then uh, you might find that your Wi-Fi in the computer just isn't up to it anymore. Now, my computer um, doesn't have Wi-Fi at all. Um, it just plugs into my network cable and that's absolutely fine. But I thought it'd be nice for it to have access to Wi-Fi. So we're going to install a wireless card into this computer and uh, I will show you how to do it to yours. And hopefully you'll be able to upgrade your computer with a little bit more confidence because it is actually a relatively easy task for probably anyone to do really. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. But before we do that, today's video is actually sponsored by me. Well, more my company. Now see, the thing is, I am a designer. That is my actual job. Standing here and talking to you lot isn't my job. I wish it was, but it isn't. Now, I have my own business called KCJH Design, and I do websites, I do graphic design, I do space planning, I make intros and videos and stuff for YouTube. I'm quite multi-talented, really. So uh, go and check out my website, kcjhdesign.co.uk, and you could be my next customer. And I'm actually quite reasonably priced as well. So uh, yeah, get amongst it. So as you can see here, I put my computer up on the table. Uh, glass cases aren't the best because they're very reflective, but we'll take the side off it and have a little look and make sure I can actually fit a wireless card in this computer and make sure you can fit one in yours as well. So uh, let me get this rather reflective case off and we'll go from there. Now, thankfully, the inside of my computer is looking very clean at the moment. That's because literally last video, I put my computer into a brand new shiny case that was gifted from my wish list. If you want to explore my wish list, then the link is in the description. Now, I've already got a few things in my computer already. So I've got my graphics card, which is that, and I've got two Elgato capture cards. And when I'm gaming or recording stuff at my desk, the video goes into my capture cards. So uh, yeah, so my computer is actually pretty full at the moment, but I need a spare PCIe slot. And I have one, thankfully. Now you probably find in your computer you've got one spare. And the PCIe slot is just here. Can you see it? It's this guy here. And that is an expansion port for your computer. So we've got a blank slot there for the card to go into. So uh, yeah, if you've got one of these spare on your computer, then you can put a wireless card into your computer. So uh, we've established I've got a spare slot. So uh, let's fill that slot. Okay, so I've just got to unscrew this screw here to remove the blanking plate. And there is the blanking plate. Now your computer might not have them screwed in. It might mean that you have to bend the metal and jiggle it a bit to get this to come out. Um, it really depends on your case. Most sort of gaming cases like this do have these kind of slots that you just unscrew and pop out. But yeah, you might find if you've got an older case, you might have to sort of wiggle it from side to side and slowly break it free from its metal tabs. Be gentle, not too gentle, but gentle enough. So now, if we look, we've got our slot and a nice hole in the case for the stuff to come out the back. Now we need a Wi-Fi card. Now, uh, I picked up this rather cheap guy from Amazon. Don't judge me. I had, a, I had an Amazon gift voucher and I thought, oh, let's blow it on this. So yeah, this is a Zytoid wireless card. There are loads of them on Amazon. Um, this one seemed to be okay. You just sort of go for what you can afford. Um, apparently this does the sort of speeds that I want it to do. And also it's got Bluetooth built in. So the computer, once this is plugged in, will also have Bluetooth. So I'll be able to listen to the audio through from the computer on Bluetooth headphones or connect my mouse via Bluetooth. So as well as adding the Wi-Fi, it also adds the functionality of Bluetooth, which is pretty cool. I'll pick a few of these out at different price points and I'll stick them in the video description. But hopefully this one should be fine and dandy. 
So what have we got in the box? Okay, so uh, there's a cable here where we connect the Wi-Fi card to the motherboard. Now this is what enables the Bluetooth functionality. So uh, you might not need to do this. So, you know, I'm going to do it and I'll show you how to do it, but you might not have one of these cables. Uh, we have got some antennae. Oh, we've got some screws, very handy. If you don't have screws on your blanking plate, then you're gonna need a screw to screw it into your computer. Oh look, they've even provided a nice little screwdriver. That's very kind. And then we have this, which is a low profile card slot. Um, I'll explain this in a moment. Now let's have a look at the card itself. Oh, hang on, what's this? Right at the bottom of the box, we're going a bit retro. We've got CD drivers, ooh. I don't even have a CD drive. Hopefully we'll be able to find the drivers online. And uh, yeah, it actually comes with instructions that are telling you what I'm going to tell you to do. Ah, oh, look, and there we go. They, they even got a website where you can download the drivers from, which we'll probably have to do that if Windows doesn't recognize it, but we'll skip to that in a little bit. Right, okay. So let's have a look at this wireless card. There we go, it's so tiny, look at it. So uh, on the back of it, this is the slot that goes in the slot we've just freed up. Two antennae connectors and uh, oh, it seems to have a little LED to signify activity. And yeah, that is the connector there that we uh, plug in the little cable to enable the Bluetooth. And these are the connectors that go onto the socket onto the motherboard. So it is pretty straightforward. Now you might have a low profile PC case and that basically means where it's a smaller case uh, you won't be able to fit a full-size card in like this and this is what this little uh, guy is for so you can actually unscrew this mounting plate and put on a smaller mounting plate if you've got low profile PC case so that's quite handy so if you do have one of those then probably check that the Wi-Fi card that you're ordering comes with a low profile book bracket because otherwise it won't fit in what I'm going to do before I fit it in is I'm going to plug in this uh, Bluetooth connector. Now, it's not a particularly long cable, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. So this white end goes onto the wireless card and this black end plugs into a USB header on your motherboard. Now, I've got one of those. A bit hard to see, but it's there at the bottom of the case. So that wire has got to go from my uh, wireless card to that connector there and I think to make that happen I'm gonna to have to thread it underneath the graphics card there we go so that wire is in and uh, yeah this just plugs into the uh, spare slot just like so there you go it's plugged in so now we need to get our screw and we'll screw it in position and that is the Wi-Fi card installed. Now I've just got to plug this guy into the USB header. So I could be like slightly messy and just like lash it over the top of the graphics card. But I think the better thing to do is actually run it under the graphics card. So uh, let's do that. Yeah, my fishing didn't work there's something blocking it so I'm just gonna have to pop off the graphics card right so we need to go from the card here down to that USB header here so uh, we can do that now these only plug in one way so uh, it's pretty straightforward yeah that's sort of all plugged in as it should be Let's just pop the graphics card back in so there we go, we have the Wi-Fi card all installed. Um, all we need to do now is just screw on the antennae. There we go, all screwed in. Right, okay, so I guess I need to go back to the desk, plug in the computer and uh, we'll talk from there. Okay, well, uh, the computer's back and plugged in and working, so that is a good sign. Now, I don't know if the wireless card has got drivers automatically installed, so what we need to do is go to Device Manager, and if you don't know how to go to Device Manager, 
just click on your start button and search for device manager. Okay, so uh, let's have a little look. Network adapters. Yeah, we've got a Wi-Fi adapter there. Check our properties. It's all working fine. Awesome. Um, that's good. And uh, yeah, we've also got a Bluetooth device. And the Bluetooth icon has turned up in the bottom of my uh, Windows window. That's really good. Okay, so let's have a little look at the network and internet settings. So at the moment it's using our Ethernet or wired internet connection and uh, the Wi-Fi seems to be there and working. So what I think I'm going to do just for sort of testing purposes is uh, disable my wired connection because I want to do like a speed test and everything like that. So let's go and connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so show available networks. Doo, 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 doo. There we go, so I've got a five gigahertz network connection. So uh, let me just type in the security key and then we'll do next. Checking network requirements, excellent. There we go, it's connected, excellent. Okay, so if your card isn't showing correctly in Device Manager, then all you'd have to do is go to the website in the instructions and download the drivers. Um, I can't really show you how to do that, but it is relatively straightforward. But if you've got Windows, then it seems to just be recognized by Windows anyway, so good. Ah, before we do the speed test, if you'd like to join this channel and help support it, then please do. Just hit that join button in the corner and you can join from 99p a month. And I buy things like this wireless card with the money that I get from this channel support. So yeah, if you want to see more content on this channel, then please do consider joining. It really helps. Right, okay, so I've got the speed test app on this computer. Let's run the speed test. Yeah, that'll do. That's not bad at all for a wireless connection. Good upload speed, very good upload speed. Now the thing is, having a wired connection generally is a lot faster than having a wireless network connection. But if you're moving your computer from one room to another where you don't have the facility to wire it in, having a wireless card is absolutely perfect. So if I wanted to take my computer downstairs, I could do that because I wouldn't have to worry about plugging it in. And also having the Bluetooth as well, that's gonna be awesome because now I can use wireless headphones connected to my computer and listen to stuff. So for around 30 pounds, we've added Wi-Fi to the computer, we've added Bluetooth to the computer, and it's pretty damn fast as well. So yeah, I consider this video to be a success. I hope you manage to upgrade your computer to wireless. Uh, if you have any problems, then please do drop them in the comment. Just remember, I'm not IT support. I'll try my best. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. But for now, it's game over.